Hello, this is Callum again. I'm going to do a few videos now illustrating common specimens that you will get within the GI tract. Uh, I'm going to start at the, the top and work down, but first I'm going to use here, this, this is a section of colon, which I'm going to use to, to illustrate the la layers of the GI tract because it's useful to go over this. The layers of the GI tract are, remain, even though different stages of the GI tract can look quite different. They will all follow the same basic structure, which is that we've got four layers within the wall. I'm just going to go over these now. So to this side, we've got the luminal aspect. This is a this is a section of, of large bowel here. Um, and this, this is the luminal aspect or the superficial aspect, if you like. And we've got four layers. So the first layer is this one here, the one of the luminal aspect. That's called the mucosa. The mucosa is made of three main subparts. So at the very luminal aspect, we've got a layer of epithelium. Now we're in the colon, so this is simple columnar epithelium here. Uh, and this is the epithelial lining, which is the most superficial part of the mucosa. Within or between the epithelium, these are these are little glands here within the colon, which uh, or crypts rather. Uh, which, which are connected with the surface. So that's part of the surface epithelium. But between these, uh, there's a different substance, which is connective tissue, which is completely in the colon, packed full of inflammatory cells. And that is called the lamina propria. So we've got the surface epithelium. Underneath that, underlying that, and in between that, we've got the lamina propria. And underlying both of these, we've got a very thin layer of bright pink cells which are actually smooth muscle cells, and this is the muscularis mucosae. So the muscularis mucosae, the lamina propria, and the epithelium make up the mucosa. So from here down to here, that's mucosa. Okay, underneath the mucosa, there's a quite unex unexciting layer of connective tissue, blood vessels, see some nerves in there, some lymphatics, uh, and that is underneath the mucosa, and it's called the submucosa. So the submucosa is quite un unexciting, not much to say about it. Mucosa, submucosa. Underlying that, we've got a, a, a layer which is very similar to this muscularis mucosae because it's a muscular layer, but it's much thicker, and it's called the muscularis propria. The muscularis propria is made of two main layers here, and you can see very clearly in the colon. Uh, we've got a circumferential layer here you know, that's going around the colon. And a longitudinal layer that's going uh, parallel to the, the long axis of the colon. And these two layers working together are responsible for the peristalsis that, that propels the luminal contents of the bowel. So that's the mucosa, the submucosa, the muscularis propria. And underlying that is, uh, or external to that, or on the antiluminal side, is. A layer here we've made made uh, composed mostly of fat with some blood vessels in it, and this is, has got a different name depending where you are. So, in parts of the uh, of, the, of the colon, for example, or um, wherever you are within the GI tract that is attached to the surrounding tissue, this is called adventitia, um, and you know this is continuous from the from the, uh, the the luminal aspect uh, all the way through is continuous, and this would fit attach on to the surrounding tissue. So that's called adventitia. However, some of the uh, parts of the GI tract hang in the cerosal cavity, and, uh, and in those parts, this is lined by cerosa, or a very specialized type of epithelium, a single cell layer thick epithelium called mesothelium. Uh, and if that's if that's the case, then everything underneath that epithelium, it's not present here, but everything underneath that epithelium is called the subserosa. So depending on where you are, this will either be called the adventitia or it will become, be called the, the subserosa. And all parts of the GI tract follow those rules. Uh, and now we're going to go on to a few videos. We're going to start at the top and work down. Uh, so we're going to start with the esophagus. OK, speak to you soon.